Dude, they are, they are so cool. They even laugh in harmony when they did earlier on. <laughs> Listen to that. There were some sopranos and tenors there. Absolutely fantastic. <laughs> but it's great to have the Princeton Glee Club here with us. Uh, they were founded in 1874 by Andrew Fleming West and uh, have traveled all over the world, diversifying their repertoire, entertaining various audiences all across the world. And we're so proud to have you guys here in our penthouse studio. Welcome to South Africa. Welcome to Expresso, thank guys. You, thank you so much. Thank Man. you. So, how has your trip been so far? Gabriel? Unbelievable. We've been here, what, six days? I'm I'm, I'm, you know, uh, we'd want to be here for six months, really. This country is so wonderful. <laughs> but we've been here six days. We've been not all over the country, but we've been to Joburg and to Soweto. We've spent a, a, a few days down here. This is our last day. Our last Your day. Your last day We're here. We're spending our last morning with you. This is fantastic. We, we make great coffee, so that's fine. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we haven't had any yet. Oh, well, come on, guys. Get it on. Snappy, <laughs> snappy. And while you've been here, Johannesburg, Cape Town, what have you been getting up to? Well, I... Uh, a little bit of singing. I mean, that's, that's, <laughs> that's, 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 that's what we do. But um, other than that, we, you know, we've seen some leopards and some lions and some elephants and some... Uh, uh, what else have we seen? You know, animals I can't, I, I've never seen before and can't pronounce. <laughs> that's fine. That's um, more reason to come back, right? But, now, we, um, but we've been... Um, we were work, we've been doing some work in a school. We've been I mean, we've been meeting a lot of people and... Um, you know, and visiting, you know, all the, everything that South Africa has to offer and meeting all its people. That's fantastic. And I also, I mean, when, when people hear that you guys are the Princeton University's Glee Club, Glee Club. how many of them expect that kind of Glee Club thing that we see on, I, I, on TV? I, I, what, what is, <laughs> sorry guys, we don't, we don't have this in South Africa, but what is a Glee Club? Well, actually, the word glee, it's a kind of song. It's, it, it has its origins in England. It's, uh, it's an 18th century thing. It's, it's basically a small group of men singing... Oh, I like, you know, I know it's... I, I, you know, I, I'm, I'm glad we're not in the 18th century now, honestly. Um, this, is a, this is a very different thing from what, from what a glee club used to be in the 18th century, and I think that's for the better. Yeah. You, you can judge for yourself. Well, we, we certainly will do that. And I understand that there's also a very special performance with the choir coming up. I'm, I'm with the latest with Black Mambazo uh, coming up for you guys, right? It is. When is that happening and, 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 and what's going to be the occasion? It's a couple of weeks' time. It's going to be in Princeton, in our, in our hometown in New Jersey. They're coming to visit us February the 20th. If anyone finds themselves in New Jersey on February the 20th, come and see us. Um, uh, we're incredibly excited to have them come and visit us. And we're working very hard to, to, to prepare for them as well. And, you know, we want them to... Um, to be impressed with us. Well, they, right. they are one of our, the, the leg most legendary groups in our country. Um, I heard you earlier on uh, talking to the choir about mm. Imfundo, right? Imfundo. Education, uh, Imfundo. Right. Uh, is, is that a special song that you've prepared for your tour to it's, South Africa? It was written for us by a South African composer, singer, dancer, who lives in New York now, has become a really good friend of ours. His name is Bongi Seni Duma. Okay. And, he's, and he wrote this piece for us and he taught it to us, so we've been performing it in South Africa. Um, for the first time, and we've done it what, three times now, and this is so. This will be the fourth time. The fourth, and you know, but you've practiced it many more times before that. <laughs> Just believe me, we have really practiced <laughs> this piece. Tell me about it, because I mean, I, I was actually asked to go for a casting the other day uh, and to do an American accent. I was like, I, I totally suck at that. So with you, with you guys, I, I, absolutely. <laughs> but with you guys having to learn an African language, Imfundo, what was the most difficult part of it? You know, I mean, there are honestly. There are languages, I make them sing in, in, in Finnish and German and, um, I don't know, French and Italian and, you know, I mean, English is quite a hard language to sing in sometimes. I, honestly, I think, I don't know whether you guys agree, but, but singing in these languages is actually, is actually more healthy, more, you know, more fulfilling for the voice than a lot of the languages we sing in. I mean, you know, all of the, the different gutturals we have to learn for, for German. I think we've loved this language, right? I mean, it's yeah. yeah it's, it's Are you been just a great saying that because you're here, guys. No, it's, you know, it's pure vowels. It's you know, it's it's pure vowels. Absolutely. Well, we can't wait to hear. That's going to be the performance that you're giving to us after the break, right? Yeah. Absolutely. Well, stay tuned for that and more on your feel-good breakfast show. And hopefully, before you leave, we'll help you say yeah. <laughs> Work on that a little bit, right now. Zoe, what else can we expect? <laughs>